بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا فتحنا لك فتحا مبينا ليغفرك الله ما تقدم من ذنبك وما تأخر ويتم نعمته عليك ويهديك صراطا مستقيما وينصرك الله نصرا عزيزا لقد جاءكم رسول من أنفسكم عزيز عليه ما أنتم حريص عليكم بالمؤمنين رعوف الرحيم فإن تولوا فكل حسبي الله لا إله إلا هو عليه توكلت وهو رب العرش العظيم إن الله وملائكته يسلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الفاتحة لنا ولكم يا حاضرون ووالدنا ووالدكم وحالنا وولادنا ولمشاقنا ولمن حضرنا ولمن غاب عنا وليحيائنا ولمواتنا وللمواذبين على هذا المجلس ولمن كان سببا في جمعنا بأن الله الكريم ينفر القلوب ويغفر الذنوب ويستر الهيوب ويحفظنا بما حفظ به الذكر وينصرنا بما نصر به الرسول وأن الله الكريم يجعل مجلسنا هذا محاطا بالخيرات والمسرات والأنوار والبركات ويقضي لنا جميع الحاجات بجاه خير البريات وأن الله ينصر المسلمين وعلى نية الله الكريم ينصر سلطان الأولياء مولانا الشيخ محمد ناظم عادل حقاني قدس الله السر بجاه خير لنا وعلى كل نية صالحة ما حسن الخاتمة عند الموت بعد العمر المدي في دعاة الله وإلى حضرة النبي السر سورة الفاتحة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أنت سلطاننا يا ربنا اغفر لنا وارحمنا وتب علينا وزد حبيبك سيد الأولين والآخرين سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم زده يا رب عزا وشرافا ونورا وسرورا وسلطانا ورضوانا رغما في الشيطان ومن طبيعه عباد الله رجال الله أغيثونا بأهل الله وكونوا عوننا في الله وسان هذا بفضل الله ويا قطاب ويا أنجاب ويا سادات ويا أحباب وأنتم يا أولي الألباء Let 
مدد 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 يا سيد مدد 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 يا رسول الله مدد يا أبو بكر صديق مدد يا عمر فاروق مدد يا عثمان غاني مدد يا إمام علي مدد 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 يا سيد مدد 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 يا رسول الله مدد يا فاطمة زهراء مدد يا إمام حسن مدد يا إمام حسين مدد يا سلمان فارسي مدد 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 يا سيدي مدد 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 يا رسول الله شمس الدين مدد يا دا 
हलावे मददया बगद दे मोहम्मद मदद यारा गे मदद या गो मोके मदद 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 या सही दे मदद 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 यार सोल मदद या
Sabika, Sabika, Ajmai, Sada Salamu Alaikum, Ya Ya Allah. Allah, Akbar. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Malik yawm al-Din Iyaka na'abud wa iyaka nasta'in Ihdina al-Sirat al-Mustaqim Sirat al-Ladhin an'amta alayhim غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا جاء نصر الله والفتح وَرَأَيْتَ النَّاسَ يَدْخُلُونَ فِي دِينِ اللَّهِ يَفْوَاجَا فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَاسْتَغْفِرْ إِنَّهُ كَانَ تَوَّابًا الله Sami Allahu liman hamida Allahu akbar Allahu akbar Allahu akbar Allahu akbar Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yawm Al-Din Iyaka Na'abudu Wa Iyaka Nasta'in Ihdina Al-Sirat Al-Mustaqim Al-Sirat Al-Ladhin An'amta Alayhim Ghayr Al-Maghdub Alayhim بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس الله أكبر سمي الله لمن حميده الله أكبر الله أكبر Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Sami Allahu liman hamida Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Uh...
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله سلام الله سلام الله سلام الله محمد السلام عليك السلام سلام الله 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 سلام
help individuals purify and awaken the heart towards inner illumination. As a certified Sheikh in the field of meditation, Sheikh Nurjan Mir Ahmadi reveals the six intrinsic powers of the heart, each serving as a key to unlocking the secrets of the human soul. Available on Amazon.com. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Sheikh Nurjan. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. Inshallah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Introducing Sheikh AI. The Sheikh AI bot is designed to embody the principles of Sufism in the digital realm, providing guidance and wisdom inspired by Maulana Sheikh Nurjan Marahmadi's teachings on spirituality, Islam, and the journey of the soul. The key benefits of this bot includes accessibility to the Sheikh's teachings at any time, helping seekers of knowledge to learn and grow in their spiritual path, compassionate and respectful responses aligned with the Sheikh's approach, fostering a loving environment for discussions on faith, a resource for learning about the practical aspects of Sufism and Islamic spirituality, offering insights into the journey towards divine love. This powerful tool is multilingual and able to converse in many languages. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. We want to say thank you so much for your generous contribution to our Build a Well project at MuslimCharity.com. We are actively involved in installing wells all across Pakistan, particularly small towns and villages that are unable to access clean and safe drinking water. We started this well project over a few years ago and with your loving and generous support, we have over 1900 wells. Think about that for a second. Not 1900 people, 1900 communities. So this water is helping thousands of people, SubhanAllah. Usually to build a well can cost a lot of money, but with the Sheikh's Barakah we were able to bring down the cost to only $300 per well. Every time someone drinks from that water, you get the rewards and blessings. That's why the Sheikh recommends, if any of your family is going through issues or hardships, then sponsor a well in their name. Means as long as that well is providing water, you and your loved ones will be getting the reward of it, even after you pass away. Also, if you can't afford to buy a well at this time, the wells require maintenance. So for only $29, you can help repair that. So again, thank you so much for your contribution and continued support. Ya Habib Sille Habib Fallah Du Tala Ya Habib Sille Habib Fallah Du Tala Sabri, Habibi, 
Inshallah, on the Urdu section, Nasheed number, Nasheed number 31, page 83. Just a little time till I come to shore, somewhere that I've seen. But never been before I am driftwood now I am homeward bound Pull me from the sea Save what's left of me Cause I'm tired and worn From the tides and storms So forgive my wrongs I am driftwood now, I am homeward bound Pull me from the sea, say what's left of me Cause I'm tired and worn from the tides and storms And I've made my plans back on dry land So forget my wrongs, my wrongs To a Khudaye, 
عالم و آدم نجاتم ده از این همه غم در کام توفان من دم سد گردان برس بردادم ای نور ایمان به تو رو کردم با چشم گریان من بی تو هیچم عبر بارانم دور از یارانم رها کن یارب از این زندانم نمانده طاقت در جسم و جانم ببخش از رحمت سر و سامانم من بی تو هیچم هیچم ایک بحر بیکران بے نام بے نشان منزل سے بے خبر گوفا کے درمیان ٹوٹا ہوا ہوں میں بکرا ہوا ہوں میں کہنے کو کچھ نہیں اجڑا ہوا ہوں میں تیرا ہی آسرا امید ہے میری فریاد سن لو یا رحمت العالمی قسمت سوار دو ڈوبے کو تار دو نیا بلو میری موسا سپار دو توبہ قبول ہو مرشد کا ساتھ دو ورنا میں کج عمل لاچا رہوں گا نظر کرم کرو یا شاہ نقش بن بیڑی سوار دو یا شیخ نازم یا کوت الخواست یا نور جان جان گہرائیوں میں ہوں برو میں در جسم و جانم به بخش از رحمت سر و سامانم من به تو هیچم هیچم so Inshallah, Nasheed number 34 on the Urdu Qali book. Jab husn tha un ka jalwan ma anwar ka alam kya hoga Har koi fida hai bin dekhe didar ka alam kya hoga Jab husn tha un ka jalwan ma anwar ka alam kya hoga مشکل ہے قدموں میں جبی کو رہنے دو چہرے 
तेरे का तसाफर मुश्किल है जब चांद से बढ़ कर एड़ी है रुखसार का आलम क्या होगा जब चांद से बढ़ कर एड़ी है रुखसार का आलम क्या होगा हर कोई फिदा है बिन देखे दीदार का आलम क्या होगा एक सिमत अली एक सिमत उमर से दिख इधर उस्मान उधर एक सिमत अली एक सिमत उमर से दिख इधर उस्मान उधर इन जगमग जगमग तारों में महताब का आलम क्या होगा इन जगमग जगमग तारों में महताब का आलम क्या होगा हर कोई फिदा है बिन देखे दीदार का आलम क्या होगा जिस वक्त हली माँ की गोदी अनबार खुदा से रोशन थी जिस वक्त हली माँ की गोदी अनबार खुदा से रोशन थी उस वक्त हली माँ दाई के घर बार का आलम क्या होगा उस वक्त हली माँ दाई के घर बार का आलम क्या होगा हर कोई फिदा है बिन देखे दीदार का आलम क्या होगा जब के गदा पर देते हैं शाह ने जमाना की झोली जब के गदा पर देते हैं शाह ने जमाना की झोली मोहताज का जब ये आलम है मुखदार का आलम क्या होगा मोहताज का जब ये आलम है मुखदार का आलम क्या होगा हर कोई फिदा है बिन देखे दीदार का आलम क्या होगा चाहे तो इशारों से अपने काया ही पलटते दुनिया की चाहे तो इशारों से अपने काया ही पलट दे दुनिया की ये शान है उनके गुलामों की सरदार का आलम क्या होगा ये शान है उनके गुलामों के सरदार का आलम क्या होगा हर कोई फिदा है बिन देखे दीदार का आलम क्या होगा सुन सुन के सहाबा की बातें को पार मुसलमा होते हैं सुन सुन के सहाबा की बातें को पार मुसलमा होते हैं फिर मेरे रसूल अकरम के गुफ्तार का आलम क्या होगा फिर मेरे रसूल अकरम के गुफ्तार का आलम क्या होगा हर कोई फिदा है बिन देखे दीदार का आलम क्या होगा दय बात से हवाए आती है बेकल को सुको मिल जाता है तय बात से हवाए आती है बेकल को सुको मिल जाता है इस बार का जब ये आलम है उस बार का आलम क्या होगा इस बार का जब ये आलम है उस बार का आलम क्या होगा हर कोई फिदा है दिल देखे दीदार का आलम क्या होगा हर कोई फिदा है बिन देखे दीदार का आलम क्या होगा इनशा उर्दू कॉली बुक
نات نمبر فورٹی ایٹ عرش حق ہے مسند رفعت رسول اللہ کی عرش حق ہے مسند رفعت رسول اللہ کی دیکھنی ہے حشر میں عزت رسول اللہ کی دیکھنی ہے حشر میں عزت رسول اللہ کی عرش حق ہے مسند رفعت رسول اللہ کی عرش حق ہے مسند رفعت رسول اللہ کی قبر میں لہرائیں گے تا حشر چشم نور کے قبر میں لہرائیں گے تا حشر چشم نور کے جل و فرما ہوگی جب تلعت رسول اللہ کی جل و فرما ہوگی جب تلعت رسول اللہ کی عرش حق ہے مسند رفعت رسول اللہ کی عرش حق ہے رفعت رسول اللہ کی ہم بھی کاری
सुन्नत रसूल अल्लाह की अहल सुन्नत का है बेड़ा पार असहा बेहजूर अहल सुन्नत का है बेड़ा पार असहा बेहजूर नजम है और नाव है इतरत रसूल अल्लाह की नजम है और नाव है इतरत रसूल अल्लाह की हर शे हक है मसनत रिफत रसूल अल्लाह की हर शे हक है मसनत रिफत रसूल अल्लाह की शर में खुल जाएगी ताकत रसूल अल्लाह की हशर में खुल जाएगी ताकत रसूल अल्लाह की हर शे हक है मसन दे रिफत रसूल अल्लाह की हर शे हक है मसन दे रिफत रसूल अल्लाह की हत रसूल अल्लाह के हमसे कब मुमकिन है फिर मेरे हत रसूल अल्लाह के हर शे हक है मसन दे हत रसूल अल्लाह के हर शे हक है मसन दे रिफत रसूल अल्लाह के हशर है हशर में कुदरत रसूल Ali Mola, Ali Mola, Ali Dum Dum. 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 Lakhte karod vari akho dum dum. Ali Mola, Ali Mola, Ali 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 Dum Dum. Ali no yad karo, Ral ke par yad karo. Ali no yad karo, Ral ke par yad karo. Hey gharibaan da, Hey ho asra. Ali Mola, Ali Mola, Ali Dum Dum. 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 Hey Nabi da hai pyara Ali Noor Ali Noor Ali da hai Allah Allah ka bich zuhu Ali Mola Ali Mola Ali Mola Ali 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 Mola Ode Jeda Mola Ne Huzoor Ali Peer Peer Anda Hai Dil Anda Surur Ali Mola Ali Mola Ali Mola Ali Ali Wali Andi Sira Da Hai Taj Ali Ali मोमिना दी बस है मेरा जले अले वलियां दे सिरा दा है ता जले अले मोमिना दी बस है मेरा जले अले गिन गिन दसा कि मैं अले दे करम अले मौला अले मौला अले दम दम 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 लखते करोड़ वारी आखों दम दम अली मौला अली मौला अली 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 दम दम 
ਅਲੀ ਦੀ ਪਛਾਣ ਰੱਬ ਦੀ ਪਛਾਣ ਅਲੀ ਦੀ ਤਾਕਤ ਨੂੰ ਜਾਣਦਾ ਜਹਾਨ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਅਲੀ ਰੱਬ ਦਾ ਹੈ ਸ਼ੇਰ ਉੱਚੀ ਅਲੀ ਦੀ ਹੈ ਸ਼ਾਨ ਬੁਲੀ ਹੈ ਈਮਾਨ ਅਲੀ ਨਬੀ ਦਾ ਐਲਾਨ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਅਲੀ ਹੈਦਰ ਕਰਾਰ ਬੁਤਰਾ ਬਲੇ ਅਲੀ ਹਾਸ਼ਮੀ ਜਰਾਨ ਲਾ ਜਵਾ ਬਲੇ ਅਲੀ ਹੈਦਰ ਕਰਾਰ ਬੁਤਰਾ ਬਲੇ ਅਲੀ ਹਾਸ਼ਮੀ ਜਰਾਨ ਲਾ ਜਵਾ ਬਲੇ ਅਲੀ ਜਿਨਾ ਦਨ ਕੋਈ ਅਲੀ ਹੋ ਨਾ ਦਬਰਮ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਦਮ ਦਮ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਦਮ ਦਮ ਲੱਖ ਤੇ ਕਰੋੜ ਵਾਰੀ ਆਖੋ ਦਮ ਦਮ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ 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 ਦਮ ਦਮ ਨਾਟ ਨੰਬਰ 15 ਪੇਜ 39 ये सब तुम्हारा करम है आका ये सब तुम्हारा करम है आका के बात अब तक बनी हुई है कोई सलीका है यार का कोई सलीका है यार का न ਬੰਦਗੀ ਮੇਰੀ ਬੰਦਗੀ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਸਭ ਤੁਹਾਰਾ ਕਰਮ ਹੈ ਆਕਾ ਇਹ ਸਭ ਤੁਹਾਰਾ ਕਰਮ ਹੈ ਆਕਾ ਕਿਸੇ ਕਾ ਇਹਸਾਨ ਕਿਉਂ ਠਾਏ ਕਿਸੇ ਕੋ ਹਾਲਾਤ ਕਿਉਂ ਬਤਾਏ ਕਾਏ ਹਸਾਨ ਕਿਉਂ ਠਾਏ ਕਿਸੇ ਕੋ ਹਾਲਾਤ ਕਿਉਂ ਬਤਾਏ ਤੁਮ ਹੀ ਸੇ ਮਾਂਗੇਗੇ ਤੁਮ ਹੀ ਦੋਗੇ ਤੁਮ ਹੀ ਸੇ ਮਾਂਗੇਗੇ ਤੁਮ ਹੀ ਦੋਗੇ ਤੁਮ ਹਾਰੇ ਦਰ ਸੇ ਹੀ ਲੋ ਸਭ ਤੁਮਾਰਾ ਕਰਮ ਹੈ ਆਕਾ ਇਹ ਸਭ ਤੁਮਾਰਾ ਕਰਮ ਹੈ ਆਕਾ ਤਾ ਕੀਆ ਮੁਝ ਕੋ ਦਰ ਦੇ ਉਲਫਤ ਕਹਾ ਥੀ ਇਹ ਪੁਰ ਖਤਾ ਕੀ ਕਿਸਮਤ ਅਤਾ ਕੀਆ ਮੁਝ ਕੋ ਦਰ ਦੇ ਉਲਫਤ ਕਾਤੀ ਪੁਰ ਖਤਾ ਕੀ ਕਿਸਮਤ
موسیقی بگڑے بنے سب کوئی 
और बचाए ना बचाए मुझे ना से कोई और बचाए ना बचाए मुझे ना से एक दात ही सरकार की मरने नहीं देती एक नात ही सरकार की मरने नहीं देते ले जो मोहम्मद ना ले जो मोहम्मद नाम सल्लल्लाह ले जो मोहम्मद ना ले जो मोहम्मद नाम तेरे बिगड़ बने सब का तेरे बिगड़ बने सब का ले जो मोहम्मद नाम ले जो मोहम्मद नाम सल्लल्लाह ले जो मोहम्मद नाम ले जो मोहम्मद Let's go. 
کو ملا ہے جس نے پسی نرش کے اولاب تیرا تشار وہ بام تو جان جانا تشار وہ بام تو جان جانا ہے چہرہ او مل کتاب تیرا ہے چہرہ او مل کتاب تیرا میں تیرے حسن و بیا کے صدقے میں تیری میٹھی زبا کے صدقے میں تیرے حسن خوشبو دلوں پہ اترا ہے کتنا دل کش کتاب تیرا تو شاہ خوبان تو جان جانا تو شاہ خوبان تو جان جانا ہے چہرہ و ملک کتاب تیرا ہے چہرہ و ملک کتاب تیرا ہے تو بھی سائم عجیب انسان جو خوف محشر سے ہے حراسان ہے تو بھی سائم عجیب انسان جو خوف محشر سے ہے حراسان جو خوف محشر سے ہے پڑھتا ارے تو جن کی ہے نات پڑھتا وہی تو لیں گے حساب تیرا خوشا اے خوبان تو جان جانا تو شاہ خوبان تو جان جانا ہے چہرہ و ملک کتاب تیرا ہے چہرہ و ملک کتاب تیرا بے خود کی دیتے ہیں انداز ہجابانا آدل میں تجھے رکھ لو اے جلوہ جانانا بے خود کی دیتے ہیں انداز ہجابانا جی چاہتا ہے تو ہم 
مدد کمون نظر کن سیدی یا رسول کریم یا حبیب العظیم مدد یا سیدی یا سلطان الولی یا شیخ عبدالفیز دغستانی 
Sultanul Shri Muhammad Nazim Adil Haqqani, Mamana Sheikh Hisham Kabani, Sheikh Adnan Kabani, Sheikh Muhammad Adil, Muhammad Khalif al Khuj Dawani, Sahib Zaman Sayyidina Muhammad al Mahdi alayhi salam, Ruhullah Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, Sayyidullah Sayyidina alayhi salam, Thumma Sayyidina Bakr Siddiq, Sayyidina Umar, Sayyidina Uthman, Imam al Hassan alayhi salam, Imam al Hussain alayhi salam, Siddhatina Fatima Tiz alayhi salam, Wasairu Sadatina. Siddiqeen al-Fatiha Barakha Shafadi ala Sufri Kareem Habib al-Azim Fa'awza billahi min ash-shaitan al-Razim Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, all the dhamdra minkum and always a reminder for myself, an abduka rajisu, da'ifu, miskeen, zalim, jahal. Remember for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. Alhamdulillah that Allah granted us to enter into the holy month of Shahwan and the realities of the binary code and the reality of ten and the heavenly kingdom. After leaving or being dressed by the blessings of Ramadan in which to bring the bad character down and to become dust to enter into the Divinely Presence. Our path is based on effacing oneself and recognizing the bad character and bringing the bad character down to the best of our ability and that to have good character to enter into the Divinely Presence. Alhamdulillah that awliyaullah keep the way of the Divinely Presence as a door upon this earth to remind the earth of its humanity and to remind the earth of the heavenly kingdom. The satanic abode and the abode of egos and bad character want us to forget the heavenly kingdom and to govern ourselves with bad character upon this earth and thinking that everything ends here and begins here. Where in reality our journey is from the heavens and to the heavens we shall return. We are spiritual beings sent for a physical experience to achieve a greater spiritual rank and reality and the experiences that we acquire on our journey through this earth determines our spiritual growth and the rank of our spiritual reality in the Divine the Presence. We come onto the earth and what we call shaitan and negative energies they come to fool us and make us to forget our spiritual journey and that from the heavens we came and to the heavens we shall return. And by the grace of Allah by the grace of the Divine the Presence gives guidance upon the earth and the fountains of guidance are the oasises of awliyaullah. And these awliya are ashiqeen and muhibbeen of Sayyidina Muhammad by virtue of that love and by virtue of that good character and the reality of love in which draws their soul near to His Holy Presence and as a result His Presence dresses them. The reality of love is that you be with whom you love and whom you love will be with you but pray that you love the right person. That love that you have it should change you, it should dress you and it should bless you. If we love those from the heavens and those whom the heavens love, then we should find ourselves that this love of ours dresses us, blesses us, gives us good character and good manners. There are people whom love the wrong people, they love bad people and as a result of that love that they have that also dresses them but from badness and from bad character. And they make a bond within their heart and their soul towards that evilness and it's the evilness in which they acquire. 
and they take that evilness to their grave and into the hereafter. That Allah through all holy books and all realities gives to us a warning that to love whom God loves and by virtue of that love you should be accompanying goodness and by virtue of that love it changes your character towards goodness. So in which to exhibit the manners of the heavens, it doesn't need a book to define it, it's already in our common sense. The character of goodness, the character of compassion and the character of mercy. And we've said many times before the theme of our entire religion is Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. If we carry that theme in our life, carry that theme in our meditations, carry that theme in every action that we do, that we say, in the name of God most compassionate and most merciful. That both compassion upon this earth and mercy and compassion upon the heavens. That is the theme of our entire existence upon this earth. Mawlana Shaykh would say, if we can govern ourselves by Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, that what we want to do we say, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. What we want to eat we say, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Whatever future we're planning for ourselves we say, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem in the name of Allah most compassionate and most merciful. If what we want to do and we can't say, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, then abstain and don't do it. That this is the, the fruit and the beauty and the flavour of our lives. We pray that Allah give us good character, that Allah give us this ishq and this love, a Divinely love within our heart and soul that draws us near to the Divinely Presence. As a result of Divinely Presence and drawing near it begins to dress us and fragrance us. We said before that the reality of the, the Divinely love is like the sun and the analogy of the sun. That by the virtue of the sun shining all the beatific flowers release their fragrance. They merely have to stare at the sun and as a result the sun brings out their natural sweetness and natural fragrances. We pray that Allah grant us from that sun, that ish, that love and that Nur Muhammad And these are from the lights of holy companions, the lights of Ahlul Bayt, the lights of awliyaullah who are all ashiqeen and muhibeen and the lovers of Sayyidina Muhammad and if Allah grants for us to bask in that sun, to look into that sun, into that light, into that reality, it's an analogy. Then we too can become Gul Muhammadi, the beatific roses of the Divinely Presence in which they absorb these Divinely lights and they give back to humanity the fragrance and the beauty that humanity is in need of. Especially when overtaken by the dirtiness and the evilness of shayateen and negative energies that only want negativity and difficulty and hardship upon humanity. We pray that Allah bless us and dress us, our families, our communities and our loved ones. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa and bi siri surat al-Fatiha. Shafat Ya Rasulul Kareem, Ameen, Ameen. InshaAllah what we have from our SMC families online, inshaAllah everybody doing their khidmat, their service, their videos, their images, everything mashaAllah, mashaAllah. Make sure people whom coming on board, 30, 40,000 new subscribers, the 30, 40,000 new app users. If the first time hearing from us, please email helpme at nurmuhammad.com and communicate. Open a line of communication so that we can send you the articles on how to connect, how to meditate, how to participate in the programs, and links to all of our different websites whether it's the charity, the Nur Muhammad website for knowledges 
or the social media platforms. So our way is a, is a way of being active and our faith becomes an action, that faith in action, not faith just hidden but our faith that manifests into beatific actions so that to be granted the blessings of the Divine and Divine Grace upon our souls, our families and our loved ones. We represent many on this path, we represent our families and our loved ones and we're ambassadors for all of our descendants inshaAllah. What do we got? As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah We have a kind of a thank you note which is saying, As Salaamu Alaykum Shaykh Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah Thank you for your lecture last night, it was indeed a light bulb turning on when you said we have no power. So when we submit we don't lose anything and all power and izzah for Allah Azawajal. Shukran Shaykh Shukran, alhamdulillah is the reality of, of guidance because everything is a deception. Shaitan deceives us to think we have power and that if we go out and grab it we're going to have power. Actual our real power is to submit and when we submit Allah's Divinely Grace dresses the heart and that's real power. This is the power of true manifestation. When you submit your will back to the Divine and you begin to be a, a vehicle or vessel for Divinely will. When Allah describes, I've become your hearing, I've become your seeing, I've become the hands in which you touch, the feet in which you move, the breath in which you breathe, so much so you become Rabbaniyoon and you have power of kun fayakun. But this is only through taslim and submission. So we have to give up the false power to receive the true Divinely grace and, and blessings and this is through good character inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Wa Alaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah Sayyidi, what is the secret to act upon the moment Divine inspiration is received through hearing before shaitan can destroy it. The secret is to act upon it. That when you take a knowledge and you write it, you meditate immediately and it becomes something in your heart and don't let it enter into your head to think about it. Maybe it wasn't about me, maybe I'm under different circumstances. So this is based on the knowledge. Then when we have inspirations, oh I have to do this, I have to do that, then you do them. Shaitan makes everything in our life to be postponed. So imagine now for Allah says, you have to do your salah. Everybody then postpones their prayer. They hear the azan, then they say, okay, okay I still have time, I still have time, I still have time. This is the, the goal of shaitan to make the, the person feel that they can postpone and then eventually neglect their responsibilities. But when we try to practice our best to do things on time and the inspirations that come within our heart to do them and act upon them and that becomes then a person of faith. And then more inspirations come and they act more upon their faith and they understand that their battle is between the heart and the head. Shaitan resides within the head of servants but he can't enter the heart, he's trying to enter the heart to destroy the heart, that's what they call heart attack. He's trying to attack the heart, the energy of the heart and, and do everything difficult to the heart because this is the seat of authority. So our life is to keep the heart, safeguard the heart build it with the dhikr of Allah which is the salawat upon Prophet As we build the power of the heart, harder for shaitan to enter into the heart or good near even the heart because the dhikr of Allah it burns him. So where he goes then and resides within the head and he becomes the nutty professor in the heads of people that make everything upside down, every talk 
they understand something different, they give an excuse for this, excuse for that. So this is our, our greatest battle inshaAllah, it's against our own head inshaAllah. Uh, so you, there's a few questions with the same kind of a message here. So, mm. Assalamu alaikum Sayyidi, being nothing means emptying our hearts and giving up on all our desires and dreams, but this comes with a heavy fear of losing everything. How can we counter this fear? Everyone has their, their own understanding of nothingness. So once you come to the tariqah, do your muraqabah, everything is step by step. So when we ask these things we have to think that before I ask this question did I do the first step and the muraqabah because I have to have a power base, I have to have a connection. I'm cutting myself off to gain what? Just coming on in five minutes and say, I cut myself off and say, oh, for what? You haven't connected to anything to cut yourself off of something. I'm going to cut the city power but it don't have a generator or you're just going to be in darkness because you cut off. So it means it's a step by step, step by step that when I come to the tariqah and to this shaykh he's teaching muraqabah. So it means that I have to connect to an alternative power, not the dunya and shaitan but the real power of a Rahman. The Izzatullah, Izzat al Rasul wa Izzat al Mu'mineen. It's in Holy Qur'an, Allah Izzat might flows through the heart of Prophet So then I have to take my hand to the representatives of Sayyidina Muhammad with the ones I resonate. If there's 124,000 awliya, 24, 124,000 representatives, which one my heart is resonating with? When this one speaks, I don't understand what he's saying, my heart doesn't resonate. Then go to the one that your heart resonates. When you do that then you take your muraqabah, your connection, you make your madad, you connect your heart to their heart and you begin to develop a energy source not from dunya and not from the zeal of shaitan where you know shaitan make everybody to have energy that's why they go out and work and they think they're going to conquer the job market. They're going to work for a company, they're going to give them 40, 50 years of their life, they're going to accomplish this, this, this. That's a satanic power where he tries to pull people with the excitement of dunya. But you can also have dunya but you don't need the power from shaitan so then you connect with a Rahman and you connect with these shaykhs who they are connected to the heart of Prophet to the heart of all awliya and as a result they're like a generator. You bring the generator into your life, you learn how to make your connection and you begin to ask for the fires and energy to come, ask for permission for their light to enter into your heart. And you begin to train and train and train until you feel that energy is coming, you understand the connection, you've read about it, you understand it with all its knowledges. Then this energy that's coming to you, with that energy flowing you begin to cut off from dunya that the, the job that you want is not going to be till your retirement, you take your paycheck and run, it's nothing more than that. Don't try to conquer the earth because we don't know even if the earth is there tomorrow. We do the job to pay our bills, the things we want to accomplish, they accomplish for that day. But there's a higher goal, I have to reach to paradise, I have to reach to the presence of Prophet and I start to be, receive these fires and these energies and all oh, my big plans for dunya. What happens when you're getting energy from the heavens? You realize those were illusions, you, know, you don't know where you're going to be next year. You don't know if the earth is going to even be here next year, you don't know if you're going to be in this city or that city. So look at the five years back, could you have planned those five years most people? Most people whom Allah have, has guided their lives are all over the place. They would have never imagined where they are today five years ago. Because when Allah takes you on a journey, you're on a journey. 
And that's when you begin to understand, what all this planning I've made for myself, I have no idea what this… So they submit their planning to Allah Ya Rabbi you know best, I just every day I'm going to taslim. Then they have a whole system, cut off the past, don't worry about the past choices you made, it's gone, it's already finished, you can't take it back. Stop worrying about the future, do your zikr, your muraqabah, your contemplation. You worked good, got your rizq for the day, ate your food. If you meditate on just that day, you can take the power of that day. But shaitan's going to make you use the power of that day on thinking about the past, uh oh half the power gone. Then when he finished with the past, he's going to make you fear about the future. Then the other half of your energy is on the future and you wasted that day. It came, it went and you lost it, you gained nothing from it. And that's all shaitan wants from people. So then this is the power of tafakkur and contemplation. What I got to do with the past and who knows what's coming to the future, they meditate, they feel the power of the day, they receive the fires and the emanations of the day because they were content with the tajalli of the day. You know when you're worried you can't meditate, you don't feel a strength, you, you keep thinking about the issue that you're worrying about usually from the past or something in the future. So it's a whole science, you get the book, Timeless Reality, you study it. If you don't have the means for the book go to the website and read all about the section on the meditations, make the connections and then you begin to understand these teachings and, and how these teachings will come into effect inshaAllah. As salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah Sayyidi, is there any specific dua to recite to counter the magic of Harut and Marut for families? Well, make your connection Sayyidi. Make your awrad, do the awrad, do the Naqshbandi connection, connect to the shaykhs. This is uh, this is this, this most powerful weapon. We're not a people of just du'as, there's the other groups. Everything du'a, 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 as if they, they're going to fight something. The whole process is teaching you have no power, what your du'a going to do for you other than entertainment for yourself. So it means what? Make your connection, make your connection, make your connection. When your connection is strong then do the awrads, the etiquette, the wazifas. Recite all of those, those are all the du'as. Recite the wazifa for fajr, it's all du'as. Recite the wazifa for maghrib, for, for salat al zuhr, anything you want, anything you have time for, recite what's already been given. Those are the du'as but everything on this way is to admit I have no power. What I'm going to add another du'a that I already collected 50 du'a from 50 shaykhs, what am I going to do with all these du'as? If shaitan already inside you, well where's the du'a going to go? So the concept of the tariqah is admit at the door, Laila anta subhani kaini kuntum min al That uh, glory be to Allah I'm oppressor to myself. So first learn how to relieve the oppression is to connect with the shaykh, connect with the power source and now start to drill inside where shaitan is residing. That's the awrads, the zikrs and the muraqaba, the connection, why? So that the faiz enters inside the heart. Then when you're reciting the shaykh's du'as it's about maybe four or five hours of etiquettes that you recite. So if you look at our… on our app, go to the fajr, what are you supposed to recite at fajr? That's a good hour and a half. What are you supposed to recite at zuhr? Probably half an hour if you do the, the, the surahs and everything. What are you supposed to be reciting at Maghrib? So I mean there's so much to recite, there's no need for anyone to add anything else. Most people just don't have enough time in the day to do all of that. So whatever is there is already there. But what you're trying to do and understand is how to make the connection with the shaykhs. Why? You need a generator because the power is about to go off wherever you are. Right? Shaitan's going to attack you in ways you can't imagine, that you feel I have no power. Forget about physical power, already on the earth we're seeing physical power is about to go off. Things may happen and they cut your power off. So if shaitan is cutting people's power, 
then they have to have an alternative power source. Means then they have to connect, connect with the heavens which is an eternal power. It requires practice. Better to practice on the, the, the semi-good days which we consider now good days versus when life becomes extremely difficult, it's going to be difficult to remember how to make more about that time. Either you got it, you got it, you'll be using it, if you don't got it, you don't got it and pray that Allah opens some understanding about it. So this is the time in which to make these connections and to achieve what needs to be achieved. If anyone ever thought that the dunya was fading and they thought, oh there was figurative speech, you know dunya been here another thousand years, turn on the TV it doesn't look like no thousand years is going to be just around the corner looks like things are, are falling apart. So it means this is a time in which to meditate, this is a time in which to contemplate, this is the time in which to make your peace with your Lord and make sure you have good character. And this good character what saves us from Allah's anger and uh, umbrella of safety. That to remain under the umbrella of safety is to have good character, not ruinous character, betraying and, and backbiting and, and uh, tyrancy and just all sorts of horrible characteristics of people. Then they, they can't feel safe that they're under Allah's umbrella of protection when you have ruinous character and, and betraying character and all the badness. So this is a time in which to be good with Allah good with the Divine the Presence and have and exhibit good characteristics inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Wa Alaikum Salaam Sayyidi this uh, comes in an email saying, uh, while we make salawats on Prophet Muhammad it is mentioned that shaitan runs away from the heart and the light, love and energy of Prophet Muhammad comes. So how can shaitan constantly being casted out of the throne, the heart and still comes back? Forgive my ignorance inshaAllah. Yeah, shaitan doesn't come to the heart, he's just trying to get near to you. So just like you don't pray just one time and make one wudu, you're making yourself dirty every minute. So then you have to make salawat every minute. How could that not make sense? So I make wudu in the morning, in five minutes you lost your wudu. You said something wrong, you looked at something wrong, anything. Literally in five minutes most people will lose their wudu based on how they talk, walk, how, what actions they take. So why Allah having us wash all the time? Because you're dirty all the time. Then I say, okay I prayed at Isha, I don't have to pray the rest of the day. Why? You continuously have to pray to make your connection and to receive Divine fires, Divine grace and Allah's uh, satisfaction. So everything is based on this because shaitan is saying, I'm going to attack these people from six directions. Did shaitan say, I'm going to be tired? No. He has absolutely no tired and, and he has an army of ifrit after every servant. So the only way to combat him and his proximity to us is with the salawats, with the durood, the character, all the actions. It creates this light in the heart that begins to burn away this shayateen. The more, the more, the more, the more powerful that light is within the heart and pushes the shaitans away. So that they attack the servant in their khatir, in their thoughts at a distance. We said before when somebody comes and says, emails to us, say, I'm, I'm hearing whisperings, this is a medical office. Any of our students who's trained with me, immediately they can understand, what does that mean? They're not doing their salawats, how shaitan is, is so close to them that they can hear the whispering? Means he's too close. How is he too close? You're not doing your salawats, you're not keeping your wudu, you're not doing all of the energy practices, he shouldn't be that close. 
it shouldn't be able to gain access to you, ride you from that proximity. With your practices what happens? He's going to attack you from a distance, he's going to throw and cast into you a thought into your mind like shooting an arrow from a, from a far away target. That's why then keep your eyes closed, keep your eyes down. If you know he's going to attack you from a distance and as soon as you look at social media you looked at the wrong thing, he hit you in the eye. Because you know that's how he's attacking you now. Hit you in the eye then he cast something into your heart. So it doesn't mean he left you alone, he's just going to fight you from a, a distance away until he can attack enough into your eyes, your ears, your mouth and everything about you he's throwing his uh, dirty arrows. So again this is a, a continuous battle with negative energy, it doesn't end. There's no, no ending until the grave and then in the grave is a different battle again. So there's no rest for the believer on this earth and even in the grave there's continuous battle and this become the azab of the grave and the difficulties of the grave. So it's these practices that give us power. When you make your tafakkur constantly in tafakkur then there's a faiz all around you of the shaykhs, that's an added protection. So that they begin to inspire you, oh don't listen to that you're going to get attacked. Don't, don't look up, don't look at that, that's going to get you an attack. So continuous from all of these six directions they're going to guide the servant and to warn the servant inshaAllah. Uh, Sayyidi this question comes in the email, As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam for that. Sayyidi if we poke light fun at people around us who are exhibiting signs of mild disturbance, is this a manifestation of our inner hypocrisy? Should we do our best to avoid such behavior? Poking fun of people whom are not well? Who show signs of mild disturbance. Yeah, generally no, don't get involved with that because if they target the… start targeting you then you're going to have this difficulty. But the shaykh knows how to bring that out, that's something different. That the shaykh is trying to bring out something that the person is trying to hide of themselves, their reality. So that's why they talk a certain way and if they, you see them interact they can interact a certain way that you know there's a wildness that you're hiding but you can't hide it from the shaykh. So once he identifies it the person goes back and says, how the shaykh knows this thing, how is it like, like this, oh, how he knows like I got an Urdu jinn inside me, how, he, he knows exactly what is trying to hide within you. But for a student to do with another student you're just putting a, a bullseye on your head because now that person going to be directed towards you and keep having a confrontation with you because they don't respect you as a guide to fix or to heal them. But the student with the shaykh understands that this is my shaykh so he's un identifying for me that there's sicknesses within me that I don't know exist and it's the shaykh's responsibility to bring it out with energies. And when they do come out to begin to slightly guide them to that. So everybody has something within themselves that they do not know exists and these are different characteristics. So when people are angry there's an anger within them, the shaykh has to keep joking with it, oh you look angry, you're angry but he's not really joking, he's trying to bring you to a, a realization there's something you have to control. You like drama, control it. You like anger, it's not okay I'm going to be Omar Farooq and now terrorize people. It wasn't like that, these were very high pure companions. You could how anyone could dare to compare themselves to these holy companions. You're just saying, I'm allowing my bad character to bother people. And this is not allowed in the tariqah because Allah doesn't want us even bothering the heart of one person. Because then that's you know the seat of the Divinely Presence. When you attack a heart you're attacking where Allah resides. 
that's like attacking a masjid. Especially for the people whom do dhikrullah and they, they make their zikr, they do all these things means Allah's residing, a light resides within the heart of that servant, they're trying to make their heart into a Kaaba and you attacking the Kaaba, their Kaaba. So that's why the tariqah is based on just good manners, be good, be good, be good and, and leave it for the shaykh to, to deal with people. If the shaykh has asked somebody to talk to somebody that's something else, that they'll identify, shaykh has asked me to mention to you. Don't impersonate us, you know. There are people who may go around and think it's okay but they impersonate the charity. They make a website with the charity name and they make something telling people to give money to them. Say, absolutely not, you can you know impersonate Muhammadan way and all these different things for knowledge, no problem because this was a permission but you can't impersonate the charity and then become like a federal offense, it's a registered government organization with the different governments. So you can't pretend you're a charity on behalf of another person and say, send me you know Venmo money, can't, can't be done. 35 years so we know all the different you know schemes. Now some can be innocent mistake but still it's a big mistake, don't ever do that. You can't impersonate the shaykh's name and then go around saying, I'm using his name and then people will say, oh this was the shaykh, I thought this was the shaykh's account. No, that's plagiarism and that's not allowed. So all of these things, we even had that uh, event and we had a zikr and somebody came to our zikr, told people to put on their shirts and then started filming inside our zikr as if they were having a fundraiser inside our zikr. I mean we've seen it all, we had the zikr, we had an event, we had food and this person came in with three shirts from their organization, told some people, put these shirts on, stand by this food and then went live in our zikr and said, I'm having an event right now, look at all the food we've prepared for our people and <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> I said, what are you doing? You can't make your, your event inside our event. So it means that's why we say this is a way based on good character, good intention. Look you came to be nothing, you didn't come to, to you know make something out of this, you came to be nothing. So you don't go to Home Depot and, and start selling paint in their paint section. So everyone you know stay in your own lane, do your thing, come to be nothing, come to get your realities. And that's it, that's it, just be of service inshaAllah without causing a tremendous amount of damage and difficulty, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. Sayyidi, due to some reasons I meditate on bed, how do I ground my bad energy? Can I use piece of wood or pebble sized clay which I use to do tayammum to ground myself? Yeah, whatever work if for, for some reason you have a, a, an issue that you have to be uh, in your whatever Allah has written, you can meditate and ground yourself with asa, with the clay, with a, any means that uh, is available to you. The reaction is based on intention, Allah knows the intention, Allah knows the condition He has put upon the servant. We have to do with what Allah has given to us. You can't be expected to do what you don't have the ability to do. So whatever condition Allah has put us in, then there's a relief within that condition. So we try our best to satisfy what we have to accomplish in whatever way Allah has given to us to accomplish that. That's why even in the laws of salah if you can't pray moving you can pray with your eyes. Because Allah's immense rahmah. So there's nothing more difficult in, in the tariqah, the tariqah is uh, as soft and softer. So whatever condition you are the basic understanding is connect your heart, connect your heart inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifun wa salaamun al mursaleen muhammadillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa. The Siri Surah Al Fatiha. Bi'adi Ala Surah Kareem. Amen.
انشاء بالله تخت مخاو جگان فاوزو بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اشهد ان لا اله الا الله واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله واشهد ان لا اله الا الله واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله Astaghfirullah <laughs> Astaghfirullah 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 من كل ذنب ومعصية ومن كل ما يخالف دين الإسلام ومن كل ما يخالف الشريعة ومن كل ما يخالف الحقيقة ومن كل ما يخالف الطريقة ومن كل ما يخالف الحقيقة ومن كل ما يخالف المعارفة ومن كل ما يخالف العظيم يا أرحم الراحمين يا الله اللهم يا مسبب الأسباب يا مفتح الأبواب يا مقلب القلوب والأبصار يا دليل المتحيرين يا غياث المستغيثين يا حي يا قيوم يا ذو الجلال والإكرام وأفزد أمري إلى الله إن الله بصير بالعباد رابطة شريف فاتحة الشريفة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم الصراط الذي نمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم الصراط الذي نمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم الصراط الذي نمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين صلوات الشريفة اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم 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 إن شراء الشريفة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم نشرح لك صدرك ووضعنا أنك وزرك الذي أنكل ظهرك ورفعنا لك ذكرك فإن مع الأسر يسرا إن مع الأسر يسرا فإذا فرغت فانسب إلى ربك فرغ الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم نشرح لك صدرك ووضعنا أنك وزرك الذي أنكل ظهرك ورفعنا لك ذكرك 
اخلاص الشریف بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم قل هو اللہ و حد اللہ السمد لم یلد و لم یولد و لم یکن له کفوا حد اللہ اکبر بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم قل هو اللہ و حد اللہ السمد لم یلد و لم یولد و لم یکن له کفوا حد اللہ اکبر بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم قل هو اللہ و حد اللہ السمد لم یلد و لم یولد و لم یکن له کفوا حد اللہ اکبر فاتحة الشريفة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم الصراط الذين نمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم الصراط الذين نمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم الصراط الذين نمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين صلوات الشريفة اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم 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 صل يا ربي وسلم على جميع الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آل كل أجمعين والحمد لله رب العالمين إلى شرف النبي صلى الله تعالى عليه وسلم وعلى آله وصحبه الكرام وعلى أرواح مشايخنا في الطريقة النكشبندية العالية خاصة إلى روح إمام الطريقة وغصر الخليقة شابها الدين نكشبان محمد ويسي البخاري وإلى مولانا سلطان الأولياء شاب الله الفائز الداغستاني مولانا سلطان الأولياء سيد محمد نادم الحقاني مولانا شيخ شام القباني شيخ عدنا القباني شيخ محمد عادل وياقوت الخواص مولانا شيخ نور جان مر أحمدي عبد الخالق الغجدواني صاحب الزمان سيدنا إمام محمد المحدي عليه السلام روح الله سيدنا عيسى عليه السلام سيف الله سيدنا إمام علي عليه السلام ثم سيدنا أبو بكر الصديق سيدنا عمر سيدنا عثمان سيدنا إمام الحسن عليه السلام سيدنا إمام الحسين عليه السلام سيدتنا فاطمة الظهراء عليها السلام وسائر وساداتنا والصديقين فاتحة حسبي ربي جل الله ما في قلبي غير الله نور محمد صلى الله لا إله إلا الله إلا له إلا له Oh, oh, oh. 
ilaha illa Allah, la 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 ilaha illa Allah, محمد رسول الله عليه السلاة لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله عليه السلاة الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله عليه السلاة الله لا إله إلا الله محمد حبيب الله عليه الصلوات الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله عليه الصلوات الله لا إله إلا الله محمد حبيب الله عليه الصلوات الله لا إله إلا الله محمد شفيع الله عليه الصلوات الله والسلام على بزك الله تتم إن القلوب Bala ya Allah 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 Allah
لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم هو لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم 
Allahu Allah Akbar 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 Allahu نعم المولى ونعم النصير لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم ياه ياه يا دائم ياه ياه يا دائم ياه ياه يا دائم الله
Hasbullah wa ni'mal wakil Ni'mal mawla wa ni'mal nasir La hawla wa la quwata illa billahi ladiyil azim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim 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 Ya Ahad Ya Samad Salli ala Muhammad Ya Ahad Ya Samad Salli ala Muhammad Ya Ahad Ya Samad Salli ala Muhammad Ya Ahad Ya Samad Salli ala Ya Ahmad Ya Ahad Ya Samad Ahad ya Samad, salli ala Muhammad. Ya 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 Ahad ya Samad. Ya Sayyid, Ya Sahib, Ya Siddiq, Ya Rasul, Ya Allah Ya Sayyid, Ya Sahib, Ya Siddiq, Ya Rasul, Ya Allah Ya Sayyid, Ya Sahib, Ya Siddiq, Ya Rasul, Ya Allah Ya Sayyid, Ya Sahib, Ya Siddiq, Ya Rasul, Ya Allah Ya Sayyid, Ya Sahib, Ya Siddiq, Ya Rasul Ya Siddiq, Ya Rasul, Ya Allah Ya Sayyid, Ya Sahib, Ya Siddiq, Ya Rasul, Ya Allah Hasbunallah, Nimal Wakil Hasbunallah, Rabbunallah Hasbunallah, Rabbunallah Hasbunallah, Rabbunallah Hasbunallah, Rabbunallah Hasbunallah, Rabbunallah Hasbunallah, Rabbunallah Sayyidina al-Mahdi, Khalifatullah. Sayyidina al-Mahdi, Khalifatullah. Sayyidina al-Mahdi, Khalifatullah. Azharahu Allah, Ajaban Allah. Azharahu Allah, Ajaban Allah. Azharahu Allah, Ajaban Allah. Ayyadahu Allah, Ajaban Allah. Ayyadahu Allah, Ajaban Allah. Ayyadahu Allah, Ajaban Allah. Nasarahu Allah, Ajaban Allah. Nasarahu Allah, Ajaban Allah. Nasarahu Allah, Ajaban Allah. Hasbun Allah, Rabbun 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 يا غالبا غير مغلوب 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 يا شاهدا غير مغيب يا شاهدا غير مغيب يا شاهدا غير مغيب يا قاربا غير بعيد يا قاربا غير بعيد يا قاربا غير بعيد يا غالبا غير مغلوب يا غالبا غير مغلوب يا غالبا غير مغلوب سبحان ربي رب العزة عما يصفون والسلام على محمد رب العالمين من شيخ النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى أصحابه الكرام وعلى مشايخنا في طريقة النشمدية العادية 
خاصتاً شوان نشبا محمد ویس البخاری سلطان اولیه شیخ عبدال فیض دبستانی دوشو محمد ناز مادر حکانی مالانا شیخ شوان کبانی شیخ عدنان کبانی شیخ محمد عادل مادر خالق الخوش دوانی صاحب زمان سید محمد مهدی علیه السلام روح الله سیدنا عیس علیه السلام سیف الله سیدنا علیه السلام دم سیدنا بکر صدیق سیدنا عمر سیدنا عثمان امام الحسن علیه السلام امام الحسین علیه السلام سیداتنا فاطم الفیز علیه السلام سائر و سادتنا صدقین الفاتحة بلی شبد یا رسول کریم آمین انشاءاللہ عز و جل dress everyone bless everyone keep everybody safe and to we see each other again Allah Azza wa Jalla dress you, bless you and forgive me. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.